What's going on YouTube? This is Ipsec, and like I said in my last video, I'm going to start trying to break out the Beyond Roots into their own videos, that way my videos aren't like two to three hours long, and these Beyond Roots stick out more. So if you enjoy this new format, let me know. With that being said, let's jump in. So as a quick recap, when doing the Hack the Box Machine Noter, you get this flask session cookie, and you have to crack the signing key so you can forge your own cookies. Now, my first instinct whenever cracking anything is go to Hashcat because it's optimized so it's super fast, and the rule files let me create very big word list from short files. Um, but Hashcat ran in troubles. Thankfully, Flask Unsigned worked because the signing key was weak, but in the future, I'd really like to use Hashcat, so I wanted to figure out what I was doing wrong. If we look at the actual, actual um, Flask session cookie we got from this, it is going to be this one. It looks like a JWT. But if we decode it, um, let's see, where the actual algorithm says like how it's used, this is the payload, this, so this is going to be the data. And then the second field is going to be pretty small, it's just a timestamp. And then the last field, just like a JWT, it's the actual signature, or the signed blob. So um, everything looks fine here. If we take the example, so it does support Flask. And the example they give is very similar to the one we have. So if we put this in jwt.io, it just looks the same. The timestamp's a bit different because of how it's doing the time. It's not encoded as um, ASCII or whatever, but everything looks fine. If we go to the actual GitHub page for Hashcat, this is how I would actually start tracing the code. I probably should go Hashcat example hashes real quick. So we pull, what was it, 29100? Yes. So I'm going to just search for 29100 on the GitHub page. So let's go here, type 29100 in this repository, and we get the source modules, module 29100.c, and this is gonna be the module it uses to crack the Flask session cookies. And if we keep scrolling, we see this module hash decode, and we got this token count three. So that's going to be the payload, then the timestamp, and then the signing key, or whatever, the signing something, uh, whatever you want to call it, signing blob. And I notice in the very first part, we have the token length minimum zero and token length maximum 27. So if I look at this, so let's just view this size. So echo dash N WC dash C 27 characters. So they limit it to what their example was. If we look at what ours is, it's going to be 51. So this is probably going to be the thing we have to change. And when looking at what to change it to, I pretty much did the same exact steps of the um, flask session, except I went to JWT. So let's copy this, and I'm going to look at module 16500.c. I'm going to look at what they have the sizes set. So let's see. I'm going to search for three, maybe, because it's going to be token count, right? Three. And these blobs, they're giving 2047. So that's what I'm going to set my token length max to. I don't know if that's correct because there's a lot of other things in the code that may be optimized for a short length token, but that's why I just leave a comment on the pull request and see if um, they wanted to change anything. So let's now go into Hashcat. If we go to, uh, I don't have a source directory. So I'm gonna make der build and we're just going to pull Hashcat. So get pull, or get clone. And then once it actually downloads, we can make that change. So let's go into Hashcat, and then we will v source modules module 29100.c, look for 27 and put 2047 there. So that's going to mimic what um, JWT's max length is, assuming most of the other code is the same. I'd assume it would be just because these are two very similar um, algorithms. 
and then I type make to build Hashcat. And I'm going to pause the video, we'll resume when this is done, and see if we can actually crack this. Okay, our copy of Hashcat is now built. If we execute Hashcat now, dash mode 29100, the word list file is going to be up to folders in Hashcat, hashes noter, and then let's just do the dictionary of Rock Eel. And it's going to be starting, rebuilding the um, kernel driver, or the, whatever it builds, the device driver to crack this. And once this actually gets built, hopefully it works. We didn't see a token length exception and, um, recovered two out of two. So if I do dash dash shell, we can see it cracked the first one to be hashcat. All the hashes on the example page are just hashcat. And then the second one, secret one, two, three. So now we have a version of Hashcat that is cracking JWTs, which is great. However, if we ever updated Hashcat because it created a new algorithm or something, we're gonna lose all the changes. And the next time we crack this Flask session cookie, um, we're gonna be lost. So let's create a pull request. So I'm going to fork the repository. We'll name it Hashcat in my repo. And once it forks, I'm going to repull it and make the change and then push it back up and make a pull request. So let's go to clone SSH, copy this. Then we can, I'm just gonna remove hashcat and we can do a git clone, clone it again. And then once we have it, we just make that quick change and then do the pull request. So let's go vi hashcat source modules module, what is it, 29100. And then we look for this line, the token max, and we're going to put 2047. And that should be it. So now we can go into hashcat, git add dot, git commit dash m, update flask, session max length for payload to be 2487. Okay, we can push our changes. Okay, so now back on the GitHub page, if we refresh this, we can see our latest change. And if we look at this exact commit, it should just have the one change of us changing the max to 2047. So now let's go on the GitHub page and I'm gonna search around for the word pull to see if they have any instructions. And it looks like they do. They want us to adhere to a bunch of coding styles and we didn't change enough where this is actually gonna be relevant to us because we're not creating a new function or anything. But if your patch fixes a bug, be sure there is an issue open. So we shouldn't create an issue for this. So I'm going to search for issue flask and just to make sure an issue doesn't exist already. And it looks like this one may be old. Um, I believe this issue probably could be closed, but um, let's just create a new issue and I'm gonna call it a bug report, I guess. And we're gonna say flask or yeah, flask session cookie mode 29, 100 token length too small, I guess. Um, and then I'm gonna pause the video. We'll just type something here. You don't need to watch me type for a little bit and create the issue. Okay, so now I have written a description just saying um, the length is very small. So let's submit a new issue and then we're going to make a pull request and tie it to this issue. So let's go back to our page. So GitHub, IPsec, and let's see, repositories, Hashcat, and where is pull? Pull request, new pull, and we can go from us to master, and let's see, I think I just create the pull request and I can say 
pull request for issue this. Uh, what? 344. There we go. And I'll just say copies the uh, max length from JWT and applies to Flask session mode 29100. Then we can create the pull request and maybe it'll get added into Hashcat. And if I go back to this one, we can see Ipsec mentioned this and I have the pull request linked to my issue. So hopefully I did that all correct. Um, I'm not a Git guru, but yeah. So that'll be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you all next time.